This year is a very special one, as it marks 50 years of turn arrest. In 1972, two Seattle natives and ex-Boeing engineers, John Burroughs and Jim Lee, took inspiration from an old gardening mat and created what we know today as the self-inflating camping mattress, the Thermarest. Little did I know that 13 years later, the production of Thermarest would be moved to my hometown of Cork when they would move their headquarters to an old woolen mill in Middleton. I had no idea when I picked up my first Thermarest mattress that it was made at my doorstep. And with that in mind, Thermarest invited me to the factory in Middleton to learn a little bit more about these mattresses and the people that made them. One of the things you notice about the factory here in Middleton is that the history of this iconic brand and the people behind it are very much part of day-to-day -day life. My name is Sean Raleigh. I've been working the company for 23 years now. My position is Director of Engineering. So, a long time. <laughs> At the time, the concept of a self-inflating mattress completely changed the game. After spending a day out in the mountains, people need a place to rest their head to be ready for the next day. The designer and the inventor of this product was John Burroughs and Jim Lee. They were looking for the lightest weight, most comfortable sleep that they can get when they're going up the Rockies. This is the city. Seattle, County of Kings, State of Washington. Seattle, USA. It was always, can you make it lighter? Can you make it inflate faster? Can you make it pack smaller? Can you make it last longer? Like most factories, one of the first things you notice is that you're surrounded by big, loud, complex looking machines. Most of which have been custom built in-house by Thermarest. But the sense that this business and these products are very much about the people is clear. So what we have here is Neo, really. Jess runs it, one of our operators. We run this six days, 24 hours a day, so. You don't, you don't think that there's going to be this much going on inside no, the mattress? Like. No, So there's nine layers in total fed into this mattress. So you have the fabric layer, reflective layer, structural layer, more reflective layers in here, and you end up with that structure. The structural layers look so light, and I'm guessing that's why it's able to be, you know, such a, a big mattress and be so light. Exactly, packable. exactly. And there is a step this year where we're actually building one of these machines in Cork. A lot of the products within the actual Tamaris range require a specific amount of skill, and that's hand-eye coordination, as well as ability to find out defects that you wouldn't do using an automated system. But then you hand trim these. This is amazing. The work to build Thermarest products is incredibly intricate and require, amongst other things, a set of steady hands. Oh. Got got my nails done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. You can see in this one now what you have down that end on the seam. See there the gap? Yes. That's where the valve the goes in. to go in there. Here at Thermarest, they pay attention to the tiniest details. Even the valve has been updated to be more robust than ever. When you blow into it, it doesn't allow the air to come back out. Yes. Until you release the quick release valve. I've learned that nothing in here is, no, is, is no. simple. To keep the quality standard high, the team here test each mattress that comes off the production line in the water tank. And these are the kind of things that were um, invented here as well, like this cage for holding down the mattress. So what we're doing, Connor, is checking for any leaks in this mattress. And you're also looking around the valve. It's all to make sure that a customer receives something that's built to last. Exactly. And, and that's why there's a lifetime warranty on all these products as well. So we stand over what we make. Yeah. That's about yeah. the bottom line. It looks like a good mat to me, Sean, yeah. in my expert opinion. You're, yeah, you become the expert <laughs> after this tour, you'll be okay. <laughs> We started off just making mattresses, we developed into making snowshoes, MSR, but the primary one is still mattresses within this plant here. So this is where it began for Thermarest. It's way back 50 years ago. The first invention was two pieces of fabric and a piece of foam. 
It comes in uncut or unpunched, and then we punch out holes in it. Punch out the holes, and you yeah. get your, this your is finished. Finished product. Finished product. Both, you have these little bits. There's a byproduct, which are these slugs, we call them. And you don't just throw these out, you have no, a no. special use for these. So they're used for the filling for the pillows, for our travel pillows as well. We're going to have a look downstairs. We'll have a look at that later and on. And we'll see yeah. where these guys end up. Exactly. The Thermarest factory in Middleton manufactures around 95% of the full mattress assortment for the European market, including some of the most iconic pads we've come to know and love, like the X-Lite or the Ridge Rest. So this is where we produce the Ridge Rest and the Z-Lite product. First thing to do is cut it to length. We both the old faithful Stanley. There we are. Then we put it into the oven to heat it. And from there then, it goes into the forming press over there. And forms this into this shape that you have in front of you. I started off with one of these. Oh, did you? In my, about four or five years ago, I picked one of these up 27 days in a row. I slept on top of the ridge rest mat. The upgrade to this one is this one. This is a dual density, so there is a heavier density at the base and a softer density on the top. It's also got a reflective layer on this one, so again, it sends the heat, keeps same, the heat to you. Same like technology same that's technology. used in the Neo Air Exactly, box. much the same thing. Looks a bit fancier Looks as well. Looks a bit fancier. Yeah. Design and build your products to last as long as possible, and that's how you maintain your sustainability. The biggest sustainable element is you buy one and you keep it for life. That's it. The foam that's punched out of the mats we saw exactly. upstairs exactly. end up here, and they're not just thrown away. No, they're recycled back into pillow filling. So they're stuffing these pillows. Yeah. And that was a byproduct of when this, when this foam started to be cut into different shapes. So these are, there's multiple mats inside this. Well, there is, there is. Um, that will take probably three to four mats worth of foam. It's one yeah. way of getting rid of our recycling, which is great. All of these punched out bits end up supporting somebody's head. Which is great. Yeah. We already know that these mattresses are tough and built to last, but the machines here are constantly evolving to make the processes better and more accurate. A couple of different ways of processing our mats once you see the foam. In this particular case, it's a two hit process. So we bond fabric top and bottom all the way through. So it's bonded like Bonded that. completely airtight. After that, then we apply a seam bond, which is very similar to what we do with the air products. And you end up with a mattress like this one, which is the next step. I've used a mat with this material and it's absolutely incredible for comfort. And you don't tend to slip off it. You don't slip off of it. Keeps you right there. You get a great night's sleep. What you learn about the people here in Middleton is that most of them have been here for 10 plus years, with some of them starting work here when the factory doors opened in 1985. The device is usually is called an Irish trimmer. And what it does, it keeps the distance of your seam the same all the time. Okay, let's go for it. Walk him through it, Jason, because he's gonna need it. Right. So you'll feel a pipe. And keep this section up against your mattress now all the way around and just swing it out that way. Very good. <laughs> At least you're you didn't, you didn't destroy the mattress. The team here build and ship approximately 8,000 mattresses every month, which go to the European warehouse in the Netherlands and then out to over 20 markets across Europe. Connor, this is where we pack out most of our mats. Eugene here will be packing out, and if you want to try it after that... Oh yeah, I'll least, give it a lash. Right. I'll give it a go. So, Fall from the middle, I'm, I'm seeing. Yeah, into about one third, I'd say, if not a bit more. I think the main reason for the staff staying in Cascade Designs is because of the community of workers that are here. They all seem to be happy to work here. They see that if they want to progress, they can progress within the company. I think that's the main reason why people stay. See that's what happens. <laughs> so will we uh, will I start it again? Yeah, because we can edit all this out. No we're not. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eugene. No yeah man. <laughs>
There are still some people here from the very first day this plant opened at 35 years, and it's the people what make it, but the technology has pushed it on to the next level within the industry. Well, one thing is clear. From the research and development department that thinks up and tests these mattresses, all the way to the factory floor that assembles them, Thermarest have one thing in mind, creating tough, durable gear that is built to last. Congratulations on 50 years, and here is to many, many more.